Okay, Burke sent me something today uh, from Erwin Lutzer, and it had uh, something about um, the, the surety of salvation. What um, he was promised, this righteousness, was something that was credited to him. Okay, it was credited to him and that it would come to pass in Christ. And that's what we have right now with the surety of our salvation. It is credited to us. His righteousness is imputed to us. His death and resurrection have been granted to us. The death in atoning for our sins and making us righteous. And the resurrection is the, it's like the pledge all by itself that we too will be raised. Okay, and the Holy Spirit is the one that seals us and confirms that. Okay, now, um, obviously, unless you believe as charismatics do, it's not something you're going to feel inside of you, okay? It's based on your acceptance of the gospel, if it is the true gospel. And the reason why I say this is because we have the spirit of Antichrist, okay? Uh, John speaks of that. And if the spirit of Antichrist exists and somebody believes a false gospel, which is... the when Paul, I'm sorry, when John speaks of the spirit of the Antichrist, he is speaking of somebody that denies that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, meaning deity. That is the spirit of Antichrist that John writes about. When somebody denies the deity of Jesus Christ, that is the spirit of Antichrist. Okay, so a person says that I've heard the gospel and I uh, believe the gospel, and I was told at that time, because it was a Jehovah's Witness, oh, well, I am, uh, Jesus is not God, okay? He is believed according to Paul in, one, in Galatians 1, 6 through 8, a false gospel. He's called on a false Jesus and he's believed a false gospel. But he reads Ephesians 1, 13 and 14 and he says, well, I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I, I know I am because I believed in Jesus. And then come to find out later, he says, I was wrong, Jesus is God. Well, that tells you that if there is a false gospel and a false Jesus, then there is a true gospel and a true Jesus. And that's why you need to make sure that you're in the faith. And that is to ensure that you believe what is taught you properly. If you believe from the outset that Jesus isn't God and he can save you, then you have believed a false gospel and in a false Jesus. Okay, the spirit of the Antichrist is there telling you you're saved and you're on your way to heaven when in fact you're not, okay? And so you wanna make sure that what you believe is proper. Now, that's one of the things I say, when you present the gospel to people, you wanna keep it as simple as possible, okay? You don't wanna get into all of these things that are irrelevant to the gospel message itself because the gospel is very simple. Christ died for my sins, Christ was buried, Christ rose again. If you believe that, then you'll be saved, okay? But if somebody tells you in advance the way the Jehovah's Witnesses would, they'll come in and they'll say, well, God created a man and he, you know, you'll never be saved, okay? You want to just give them the basics, and if your theology is sound enough to say, I'm gonna to explain to you how you know that Jesus is God, great, okay? But if not, God sent his son into the world to save you a sinner, and anybody that hears that without all of the extra baggage included in it will immediately know that Jesus is God because God is his father. And so you don't need to get into all the details. It's when you damage those details that you're presenting a false gospel. Don't